In this video, I'm going to do about what Bootstrap Studio is and what it definitely isn't. So I've gone on to Bootstrap Studio's um, channel here and they're talking about what's new in Bootstrap Studio 6.1 two years ago. Nothing's really changed in the comments. Um, so we'll go down here and we find the first one, which is a year ago. Your software is actually very impressive. Perfect for a developer like me, not a designer trust. It's easy to hook into my back end. Now that is a perfect comment. That's that's really good. However, like when I've been doing this throughout the years, there's always this thing about what do how do I get a Photoshop into Bootstrap Studio? You don't you don't use Photoshop because it's a different tool. It's it's just it's not for that. It's to it's to build websites. You you can draw them out. You can do anything on a bit of paper, maybe, or if if you want to do it in some like a graph graphics design program or something. Yes, but not it doesn't go into Bootstrap Studio if you get what I'm saying. So anyway, down in the comments, um, another one, two years, uh, nice update, keep developing and improving. Please give export to WordPress option in upcoming versions. Well. You see, the this is this is like a, a, a thing I think with Bootstrap Studio right from the beginning, people just don't get it. And um and what that is is Bootstrap Studio is Bootstrap. It's nothing else. So um another one down here, love the update. Is there an import of an exit existing website in the making? Well um the depends on what it's being made in now is a possible import your sites in Bootstrap. Uh, your, your build has to be HTML, as the reply was, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Um, what else on here? Uh, that, that should be make it support for React components out of the box. Can't do that and can't use v, v, view.js. Um, again, eight years ago, Right, we'll go down there. Does it integrate with an existing WordPress website to edit? Still, again, people not not understanding. Right, you have these here. If you can see, Coda Solve. Have these here, Solpadine Max. Yeah. Right, with these tablets, they both got Codeine in. Code of Solve and uh, Solver Day Max is got codeine as well. That's not the problem. The problem is, is if you take paracetamol, with, I'm, get the, I'm seeing things opposite to what the thing is there. So you do that with Code of Solve. You take two tablets of that and you take two tablets of that. It's paracetamol. You can't take both. It's, it's like sort of WordPress and Bootstrap Studio. And all this type of thing, you can't do these things. It doesn't, you're working in a bootstrap framework, okay? That is where it is. It's like taking two lots of that because they're called different and two lots of this. They're not, they're, the, they're not exactly the same, but the, you, you're taking four lots of paracetamol, which you're not allowed to take. It's, it's two paracetamol. And you have the chance of overdosing, which you do get when you overdose on here on web frameworks. There are other ones, you know, like Wix, uh, website X5, sorry. Um, and here's mine. It's, uh, this is the, my Nigel Brewster one. And this is done in foundation. And I've told you, I'm, I've been up front right from the start about Bootstrap Studio. I knew from day one, and I bought it on day one, that, um, you know, I thought it was going to, I thought it would be a, a, an important tool based on Bootstrap. It's not based on WordPress. It's not based on Foundation. They're all very similar frameworks and you can integrate HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And you could do that as I've shown in, in quite a few videos previously where I've taken a site and gone over, but there's still things there's still to do. There's tweaks and all sorts. Of you. It doesn't just go from you use Foundation like I do into a perfect Bootstrap thing. You've got to mess around with it and that. So, it is important that people understand what what the differences are. 
minute differences maybe but the, you know like it's you've got to get the idea that these things are totally different it's overdosing with two or three different frameworks and, and that's not never going to happen so when you when you're creating something um another thing i'd like to to bring out as i've done in here and it's and there you are our table and so you just pop this here and this is for everything you know there's uh make it easy for yourself and then you find the table and i've also done a, um, a video extensively on tables in the past um so all these things all these um elements and all the rest of it all all up there the components it's just the ui and all the rest of it but you just make search engines and find buttons and things like that to your advantage and um and also uh like i've said on um other type, type of things there's uh, if you wanted to know about anything again we'll use table as an example and it's in every channel here it's it's all it's like sort of every channel you go on on youtube you have the search box there that that helps you and enables you but it's a little known thing people go to the one here um try and get up the top there and do everything from that but everybody has this search function and um and when you when you do it and save absolutely tons of time doing it if you if you know um the channel itself so price and tails and bootstrap uh and one or two other things that's that's there bootstrap studio has a, has a great interface it's got everything you need but you you can only do so much with it and and um but i still enjoy doing it you know i think uh, i think it's really it's a great bit of software um you know and especially but you still have to know it, it comes across as though the way they put it as though you know it's you just do it magically you do have to know about yeah um html and css for definite you know but uh, once again thanks for watching